Hey guys, welcome to the Simply Knives YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking at the Kershaw 7777, which is kind of an ode to the ZT-0777, I think. I think it's in the, the Natrix line family of Kershaw's. Got this one, uh, again, off Knife Swap. I'm going through a series of a whole bunch of new knives that I got off Knife Swap. And... This blade is freaking sweet. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear super well, but it's a little, listen to the, the detent ball like kind of sucking it in as it closes. Such a good sound. So this has aluminum handles. I personally really, really like the look of the aluminum. It's got uh, ball bearings, and kind of a sub frame lock kind of deal. Very small pocket clip. Um, I have sweaty hands, so to be honest, this knife is like kind of difficult for me sometimes. Also, this is a huge problem for tons of people, but when you're opening it right-handed, your hand is almost always on this uh, sub frame lock and it becomes incredibly difficult to open. So if you're having that problem, you're definitely just gonna have to, uh, you have to be very mindful of where you're putting your hands. But if you're not doing that, then you can open it pretty much every single time. And this thing has amazing action. You can drop shut. Looks super freaking cool. Super, super cool. Let me just clean it off real quick. Um, so this thing, you know, it's, a, it's actually a little more expensive than other knives that I have, but I got a sweet deal on it where I got it with another Kershaw and a Kiridashi, which I also did a review of. Ow. Yeah, so sometimes it's still hard uh, to open that up. The jimping on the top, it's pretty solid. It's, it's not like too grabby at all, but it definitely provides just a little bit of extra stability. Got that sharpener's coil there. Um, the blade shape on this knife is probably one of the coolest of all the knives that I have. I just think that this knife in general is so freaking cool looking. Uh, it's also super light. I think it's around like three ounces. Sounds amazing. My only problem is just how hard it is to open up. Um, and again, I said, if you do it like a certain way, you're not gonna have a problem. Since I have a hurt uh, finger, it's definitely hard with my right hand right now. With my left hand, excuse me, with the left hand, it's actually super easy and it just kind of rockets out. So I'm very excited to, once this actually breaks in uh, and is a little bit easier to open, to see how that performs. I was told that the um, sorry, the Kershaw bare knuckle is about as close to a ZT as you can find uh, once it's broken in. But yeah, I mean, you can see it's actually not too bad to open. As long as you're mindful of just leaving your hands on this. If you do that, you're going to be able to open it just fine. Um, actually, I can fail the opening. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Yeah, so you can fail the opening, but generally because it's a little bit harder to open, you're not gonna fail it because you're gonna have enough force. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do a, a paper cut test. I keep on flipping this thing just because it's so fun. Let me just make sure my hands aren't on there. Yep. And hopefully this will salvage some of the paper because it'll be sharp enough. Yeah, look at that. This thing is so much nicer than some of the other budget blades that I've got off the knife swap. Um, this thing also costs, like retails for way more money. Oh, well, it's messing up now. Gosh, you can see that I'm not doing so well. I'm just trying to cut off some of this bad 
I don't, I don't even know what to do right now. It's, it's going horribly. Maybe it's not that sharp. There we go. You can see that it was sharp earlier. I just suck at this still. So this thing retails at like, maybe like 70 some dollars. Has absolutely ridiculously nice closing and opening action. Um, can be a little bit, you know, slippery from it being aluminum if you have sweaty hands like me. But yeah, when I'm opening this up with my left hand, it's so easy. It's just, it's so satisfying. I really think that you guys are gonna like this knife if you end up finding it in your hands. Um, the pocket clip's not too bad. I kind of like uh, how small it is. It doesn't has not moved around in my pocket too much when I've been carrying it. And yeah, I mean, I realize it's really irritating that it's become so difficult to open if you have your hands on that. But I think the positives of this knife, and if you just get good at where, I, if you get good at the finger placement on opening this, it's like, man, it's like a hundred dollar knife. It's insanely nice. So anyways, uh, sorry, ergonomics. Let's just see if I can open it. Ergonomics, yeah, it's talked about the jimping. It's got the sharpener's toil. It feels good in the hand, the pocket clip. It's not really any hot spots because the pocket clip is so small. Um, and it's just freaking sweet. So this is this is a gem of a blade, in my opinion. Why is it being difficult? It's got a very strong detent. <laughs> Anyways, that's the kind of short review of this one. This one was a little longer than others because it was so difficult to open. Uh, but thanks for your time, guys. Peace.